The Turtle Mountain Indian Reservation in Belcourt, North Dakota is home to roughly 3,400 youth according to the state census. A third of those young people live in extreme poverty. A new generation of leaders on the Tribes Youth Council are stepping up to advocate for the needs of young people living on the reservation. There goes my baby. One popular event they co-sponsor is the crowning of the Turtle Mountain Icon, a local spin-off of American Idol. You could stay alive then. Oh, darling, don't you ever grow up. Don't you it kind of works like if you want to show your talents, but like but you can't really go anywhere else. So you could just come here and just show your talents to everyone. Awesome are. College student Alexis Davis was recently elected the chairwoman of the Turtle Mountain Youth Council. In order to fight alcohol abuse, in order to um, fight depression and suicide, in order to help our youth, the Youth Council and I, we go into rooms full of adults. We have to sit there and talk about, you know, this is how we're going to solve these problems. The Youth Council was founded 14 years ago and now consists of 11 voting members. We've gone from meeting at each other's houses to being resolution, tribally recognized through our tribal government, and um, going to meetings in Bismarck, meeting Governor Burgum, talking to state officials. Tribal Chairman Jamie Azur recognizes there are many obstacles Native youth must overcome. We face all of the same issues that small town America faces across the country, but then you add in that we are a nation inside of a nation. So then you add in a lot of different layers. We have a lot of alcoholism, we have drug use, we have a stigma because we are a uh, minority. We have such a great opportunity to... Youth Council member Edward Falcon Jr. says working to make his community better changed his life. I grew up as a dark-skinned native, you know, on some gravel road far out from town and I think there's just not much to do here for youth and I think that's what drags youth into be becoming a drug addict or an alcoholic. If I wasn't on the Youth Council, I don't think I'd be doing anything, really. Being on the Youth Council really served an amazing purpose in my life. Alexis Davis says the suffering of past generations fuels the Youth Council's resolve. And then once you're proud to say, I'm Native American, I'm Turtle Mountain Band of Chippewa, and you get through that racism, you want to be living and you want to be learning and you want to progress. Part of that progress includes economic growth. Jessica Metcalf returned to the reservation to open a business that recruited young tribal members. We talk about job creation, but we cannot leave it up to other people to do it. We have to actively do it. And so that was what was important to me, is that if I was going to be employing people, I really wanted it to be tribal members. Perfect. To help young people on the reservation stay on track, Alexis Davis says the Youth Council helped find a safe space for teens. The Youth Center is going to be a place where these kids could have a good time without drugs and alcohol. They could just be positive, be happy, be free, be excited that they're with each other. For the PBS NewsHour Student Reporting Labs, I'm Colton Birkeland from the Turtle Mountain Indian Reservation in Belcourt, North Dakota.